How far have we come? The year 2025 has been an extraordinary year for AI model releases. From groundbreaking reasoning capabilities to models that code alongside us like true partners, this year fundamentally shifted what's possible with open source AI. Before we step into 2026, we need to understand where we stand, what worked, what dominated and which models truly defined this pivotal year. Today in this video, we are going to break down the winners, runner-ups and the honorable mentions that shaped 2025's AI landscape. And we have covered them all hands on our channel. If you're interested, just go to my channel, search with the model's name and you should be able to find a thorough video or two about that particular model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member if you want to support the channel. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. So first up, the number one model of 2025 in open source is GLM 4.7. This emerged as 2025's coding champion with massive improvements over its predecessors. It achieved 73.8 on Sui Bench and really impressive numbers on rest of the benchmarks. The model now supports thinking before acting, showing significant improvements across mainstream agent frameworks like Claude Code, Kilo Code, and Klein, and the list goes on and on and on. Beyond core coding, GLM 4.7 excels at wipe coding, which means producing cleaner, more modern web pages and better looking slides with accurate layouts with common users. It delivers substantial boosts in tool usage, mathematical reasoning, and shines across chat, creative writing, and role play scenarios. It has sort of become the Swiss Army knife of 2025's AI toolkit and this model has just been released. The number two slot goes to Quen3. Quen3 isn't just one model, it's an entire ecosystem that transformed OpenAI in 2025. It covers everything, general models in all sizes, dense and mixture of experts, vision and omni-modal, capabilities, coding specialists, embedding models, and re-rankers. While Quen 2.5 was mostly an insider tip, Quen 3 became the go-to choice for countless applications, especially for multilingual tasks, and it is being widely used across the globe. By 2025's end, Quen overtook Llama in total downloads and has become the most used base model for fine tuning, and I can vouch for it, I have personally used it for various clients. Academic experiments are now predominantly conducted on Quen based models, making it the backbone of AI research. From the 4 billion instruct exceptional tool calling to the 30 billion A3B's incredible speed, Quen 3 consistently just works across diverse use cases. At number 3, we have this celebrated DeepSeek R1. Released on January 20th, DeepSeek R1 had a seismic impact on the entire AI landscape. It proved that a small, focused team could push innovation boundaries and compete with tech giants. Most importantly, while its predecessors used a restrictive license, R1 was released under the permittive MIT license, sparking a movement across Chinese AI labs to embrace true openness, and you know what happened afterwards. We have hundreds and hundreds of models from 20 or 30 Chinese labs, all open source, all open weight. You can use them anywhere, anyhow you want. This single decision created a domino effect, inspiring numerous labs to release their models openly. Beyond the licensing revolution, R1 delivered on technical excellence, setting new standards for reasoning capabilities. DeepSeek R1 wasn't just the most impactful release of 2025 in my humble opinion, it fundamentally altered the trajectory of open AI development worldwide. So after these three winners, we have some runner-ups and they by no means, you know, any smaller or any, have any lesser impact. 
first runner up which was just released is minimax m2.1 which represents a quantum leap in agentic capabilities built specifically for coding tool use instruction following and long horizon planning the numbers are very very impressive and you can find them on their model card especially in multilingual scenarios it has outperformed cloud sonnet 4.5 and has even approached cloud opus 4.5 what makes M2.1 special is its exceptional performance across various coding agent frameworks. It doesn't just work in one environment, it excels everywhere. The community reports it's incre incredibly fast and strong while being runnable on reasonably good hardware, making high performance agentic AI accessible to developers building autonomous applications. Then one of the you know most important model in open source from West, GPT OSS. OpenAI's long awaited open model release flexes serious muscle in agentic applications. The community consistently reports GPT OSS as their top choice for agentic coding and tool use with the 120 billion variant delivering 200 plus tokens per second at low context and fitting 128k context with zero quantization on high-end hardware and I'm telling this from my own experience. GPT OSS pioneered different thinking levels like low, medium, high, offering granular control over reasoning depth while weaker in general knowledge and multilingual tasks it excels in its specialized domain. The recent shift to native tool calling eliminated performance penalties making it even faster. It's not a general purpose model as such. It's a specialized tool that outshines alternatives in the right setting. But make sure you get the settings right and there is nothing like OpenAI GPT OSS model. Another runner up is Kimi K2. Moonshot's AI's laser focused approach paid off with Kimi K2. Loved for both its performance and distinct writing style, the 0905 version particularly shines really good. Spending fewer tokens while often delivering better results than thinking models, the efficiency is crucial for local deployment where token usage directly impacts practicality. This K2 model also excels at agentic use cases and remains coherent at longer context. And you know, I have seen its praises in its ability to handle creative writing complex conversation and tool calling with exceptional quality. It is one of the favorite for seeking cloud like conversational abilities with privacy of local inference. Pretty good model. How can we forget Google's Gemma 3, which is beloved for two key reasons, strong multilingual abilities at around 30 billion size range and exceptional vision capabilities for various of its flavors. But even 4 billion model is quite good. And for me, I think this is one of the best 4 billion model out there from the last year. It fills a critical gap in the Western open model space, which severely lacks strong vision options, but also the multilinguality from Gemma. The 27 billion variant offers impressive intelligence while remaining accessible for mid-range hardware. NVIDIA has also come a long way. Its Nemotron family brings a groundbreaking architecture where it has combined 23 uh, you know uh, mamba 2 and moi layers with six attention layers and there are various variants in it like we have some uh, 30 billion parameter model in moi where 3.5 billion are active it delivers four time generation speed improvement and massive context handling and it also excels at both reasoning and non reasoning tasks with configurable reasoning traces through its chat template. What really sets this Nemotron 3 apart is uh, speed without sacrifice on quality. It is blazingly fast even on consumer hardware. It supports various languages too and even matches Quen's multilinguality. Another very very good model which I believe still is underrated just like my channel. It is Baidu's Arni 4.5 model. This represents a major advancement in lightweight reasoning models. With 21 billion total parameters and just 3 billion activated per token, it delivers significantly improved performance on complex reasoning tasks, including logical reasoning, mathematics, science coding, and academic benchmarks that typically require human expertise. 
the model features efficient tool use capabilities and also the context length is around 128k so please uh, you know don't forget these smallish players but which are growing pretty rapidly and we have now honorable mentions in the honorable mentions i would say ibm's granite family is quite good evolving rapidly such as this granite 4 which delivers rock solid release that deserves more attention it pioneered toggle uh, toggleable thinking per prompt with granite 3.2 adapts mamba tension architecture releases mixture of expert variants and scaled up model sizes there are a lot of other innovation too which are worth watching then we have this xiaomi's models such as this mimo v2 flash which is a breakthrough in efficient reasoning with 309 billion parameters but only 15 billion active one it is a new hybrid attention architecture which interleaves sliding window attention global attention and lot of other goodies and it also has got multi token prediction module which triples the output then we have this um ln ai is almost 3.1 which stands alone as a truly open model with all data code weight logs and math method released really really good stuff there they have released everything and we have covered all of them on the channel if you check it out last but not least um hugging face small lm3 model which is you know a smallish model that pushes the boundaries of what small model models can do it supports dual mode reasoning six languages and long context context up to 128k again fully open model with strong performance at 3 billion to 4 billion scale so look lot of other models have come up i will be making more videos on tts stt in other modalities like voice and vision so stay tuned and if you think i have missed any model please put it in the comments you know and we can discuss about it again please like the video and subscribe and become a member huge shout out to all the members who have joined the channel in the last one year plus all the subscriber and the supporters and the people who have followed me on x take care of yourself and you know 2026 is going to be another big year in ai and we are fully ready to cover it all thank you for all the support